All right, we're on chapter eight. So um, in chapter seven, the last thing that happened was Junie B stood up from her desk and yelled out loud that she was getting new glasses. So now everybody knows. So now she's um, writing in her journal. Friday, that's today. Dear first grade journal, today I brought my new glasses to school. They are hiding in my sweater pocket because I don't want to put them on, that's why. My stomach is in a knock ball. Also, there is tension in my head. We're having show and tell soon. I wish this day was over. From Junie B, first grader. Have you ever felt sick to your stomach and like you had a knot in your stomach when you're super nervous, like butterflies? Mr. Scary clapped his hands. Okay, boys and girls, please put your journals away now. I'll give you more time later if you need it. But right now, we have to get started with show and tell. Who would like to go first this morning? May sprang out of her chair. I would, I would, she called out. Then she quick grabbed a brown envelope out of her backpack and she ran to the front of the room. It's my report card from kindergarten, everyone, she said real thrilled. I brought my report card to share with you. May waved it all around in the air. Look, look, can everyone see this? I got all E pluses. E is for excellent. See, there's an E plus next to every single subject. She held the report card in front of her. Okay, now I will read you each subject one by one, she said. After that, she took a deep breath and she started to read. Number one, I followed directions. Number two, I used my time wisely. Number three, I observed school rules. Number four, I cleaned up my work area. Number five, I... Mr. Scary stood up. Thank you, May, he said. That is very interesting, and I'm afraid that we're going to have to move along now. And May raised her voice. Number five, I was courteous and respectful. Number six, I used materials wisely. Number seven, I... Just then, Mr. Scary took May's arm, and he led her back to her seat. Lenny raised his hand to go next. He passed around his new styling gel. Plus, also, he let us touch his hair. After that, Sheldon showed us how long he could stand on one foot, and Jose sang a song about frogs, and Shirley showed us her turkey sandwich. She showed us the bread and the mayonnaise and the tomato. Finally, Mr. Scary stood up again. All righty, Shirley. Excellent sandwich, he said, but I really think it should go back in its bag now. Shirley sat down. Mr. Scary looked around the room. Okay, who wants to go next, he said. My stomach flipped and flopped. My stomach was so nervous because a nervous idea popped into my head, that's why. I looked down at my glasses in my sweater pocket. Then I swallowed really hard and I quick raised my hand in the air. Me, I blurted out, I do. Mr. Scary smiled. Great, Junie B, he said. Did you bring something to share? I quick pulled my hand down again. No, I said, I just changed my mind. My heart was thumping and pumping. I peeked at my glasses one more time. Then all of a sudden, my legs stood up and they rushed me to the front of the room. My knees were wobbly and shaking. I bent over and did deep breaths. <sighs> Mr. Scary came over to me. Are you okay, Junie B? He asked. Would you like to sit down and wait to do this another day? No, I said, I want to get this over with. Then fast as anything, I reached into my pocket and I pulled out my new glasses. May started to laugh. It was loudish and meanish. Look, it's her glasses, she yelled. She brought her glasses for toe and tail. Ha, and they're purple. Tears came into my eyes. I quickly covered my face with my hands. I wanted to sit down real bad, but my legs would not even move. I stood there very frozen. Do you think she's embarrassed? I would feel a little bit embarrassed if someone stood up in class and yelled and pointed at me and made fun of me. It's not very nice. She, May is pretty much a bucket dipper. And then all of a sudden, I heard a noise. It was the sound of feet running, I think. I looked up. My new friend Herb was hurrying to the front of the class. And guess what? He took the glasses right out of my hand and he put them on his own face. Cool, he said. Purple glasses. He looked all around. 
Wow, he said. My eyes could never see out of these, Jeannie B. Your eyes must be really special. He looked admiring of me. How do your eyes even do that, huh? Do you have x-ray vision or something? He asked. I shrugged my shoulders kind of shy. I don't actually know, Herbert, I said. Possibly. Herb gave the glasses back to me. Here, he said, put them on and read something. I rocked back and forth on my feet. Well, okay, Herb, if you insist, I said. After that, I put my glasses on and I walked all the way to the back of the room and I read the announcement off the board. Friday, September 23rd, I read. Today, get ready for show and tell. I smiled real proud. Wasn't proudly one of our words this week? So she smiled really proud. The end, I said. After that, I went back to my desk. Herb hurried over to me and he gave me a high five. Guess what else? Lenny and Jose gave me high fives too. Mr. Scary did a thumbs up. Excellent glasses, Junie B, he said. Si, said Jose. Excelente. Check it out. All of her friends are giving her high fives. She's smiling with glee and she's proud. Yes, called Lucille. I like those glasses too, Junie B, because purple is a popular fashion color this fall. My heart felt very cheery at that news. I looked at May very smuggy. Well, yay for purple, I said. After show and tell was over, Mr. Scary gave us more time for our journals. I picked up my pencil real happy and I added two more lines. P.S. Hey, what do you know? I think I might like first grade. I looked around the room and grinned. Everything was crystal clear. The end. We finished our Junie B first grader at last story. What did you think about that story? I think it had a really good happy ending, kind of like our story, Stand Tall, Molly Lou Mellon. Our characters in our books have a lot in common. Now, when I say things are alike, I put my hands together. We compare. Compare means I'm going to be telling you things that are alike. Can you think of a few ways Molly Lou Mellon and Junie B are alike? I can think of a few things. I think they are alike because they're both confident. They're both girls. Um, they both had people that made fun of them for something, but they did not let it bother them. Now, when I say things are different or they contrast, I bump my fists together, but they don't go together. Can you think of some ways that they are not alike? How are these two characters in our books different? Hmm, let's see. Well, Junie B is in first grade. We know that. We're not quite sure what grade um, Molly Lou Mellon is. Um, we know that Junie B. Jones is tall and Molly Lou Mellon is short. Hmm, let's see. Hmm, what else? Oh, I know. Junie B. Jones wears glasses and Molly Lou Mellon does not. And you guys could probably come up with some more different ways um, that they're different or they contrast and more ways that they are alike. I'm going to run to the library really speedy quick like Junie B. Jones and pick out another Junie B. Jones book. What do you guys think?